I am Sister Margaret Ann Landry, religious of the Sacred Heart of Mary. I started in campus ministry at Stony Brook University 22 years ago. I'd always been in, in Marymount schools or schools that were run by the religious of the Sacred Heart of Mary. When I first got to Stony Brook University, I used to say to myself, and my name that many call me is Peggy as opposed to always Sister Margaret Ann, I would say to myself, Peggy, what are you doing here? Because I had never been in, outside of a in its educational institution that wasn't connected to my religious community. The role of the, of the chaplain or the campus minister is really to, to provide for the spiritual, intellectual and academic and social growth of the student, but mainly for the, the spiritual growth and development of the student and the enrichment of their faith. We also have to consider that in the um, Catholic tradition, we want to, part of their spiritual growth and understanding of their Catholic faith is that you must not only be praying and have a virtual, excuse me, a vertical relationship to God, but also God expects us to have a horizontal relationship with other people. And that is done through being humane and providing the compassion and showing the students the importance of doing community service. The university looks to the chaplains in our interfaith center to supply that kind of opportunity for the students of all different religious faiths to be able to practice their religion, to develop and to, and not only to develop their own faith, but to have an understanding of the other religions. So we try to foster the opportunities for the Muslim students and the Catholic students to get together and the Jewish students and the Protestant students, or all of them, to have an understanding of one another's religion and also in being tolerant. So what I started way back in the early 90s was, really with the students' input, was to have various diversity masses and dinners, and the dinners would be, and the masses would be culturally related. All of these are very popular with the students and they love experiencing what are other cultures uh, experience of religion is. We do make sure that the students have opportunities for retreats. We do have mass every Sunday for them. And then one other aspect of my particular ministry at Stony Brook also has been to foster as much as possible the idea of a religious vocation. So I've already had four young men who have entered um, the priesthood who have been part of my ministry at Stony Brook, which again is a secular university, and I've had four young women who have entered religious life. So that, that has been a very positive experience. I also then try to cooperate, or not try, but do cooperate with uh, the, the vocation director here at Stone, at uh, the Religious of Sacred Heart of Mary, to have her and some of the other nuns come out once a semester to evenings of prayers, a prayer with the students and to give them the opportunity to talk about religious life. One of my favorite quotations that I do use quite often is the uh, glory of God is a person fully alive and that's from Saint Irenaeus who was a third century a bishop. But I would say that what that means also is for them to be people who are conscientious and alive in their integrity in their spirit of compassion, in their conscientiousness about being just to others and looking out for the needs of the poor and those less fortunate than themselves. And I see that actually myself in the students that I work with, that they want to be of service to others. And they also want to deepen their faith and love of God. <laughs>